What the fuck is that noise? Is that? Is that the warps? Oh, it sure is too early for Nah, it's, it's never too early for the warps. That's the time. That's the day. And this is a physique update. Man, I'm lyrics for lyrics rhymes. Wait for it. Wait for the wobs again. Today we're doing a full day of eating, six weeks out from my first ever men's physique show, so enjoy the video. Alrighty then, so every morning, no matter what time I wake up, this is the first thing that goes into my body. This warm water, apple cider vinegar, and lime or lemon juice. It's still quite early. It's like five, five o'clock in the morning. I just do that because it helps with like digestion and stuff like that. So it's all good. Milk. We're only going to put a dash in, you know what I'm saying? Because we're on a diet. And we're meant to be summer shredding and cutting for a competition because we're in preparation to step on stage. That's why we've got skinny milk. And that is all I'm going to have for now. Now, I could show you the macros for like 60 grams, not even 60 grams, 60 meals of milk, which I'm going to do because we're going to do a running total. But this is all I'm going to have for now. I'm going to go do some uni work and then I'll come back and we'll have actual breakfast. Alright, so it's just about 10 past 8. And I'm about to go down to get my breakfast and I was thinking, what am I going to wear for the day? So I've got to go to uni, I've got a couple of tutorials and then I remembered that I've been waiting to hold out to open up this. You can never have too many shaker bottles, but that's not what I wanted to show you. See, another one. These are some bulk powders trackies that i got. Fucking. These are so sick. Now, I had this one before, but this is one of my favourite t-shirts. Ooh, this looks sick. Very, very nice. And I'll show you the trackies as well. Bolt powders, please make some more clothes because they're fucking sick. Right, let's go get breakfast. So this is technically meal number one. We've got another coffee, which is exactly the same as this morning. And we've got my oats that you saw me make. Now, the reason why I put courgette in this, like I grate it up, that's something new that I've started doing it about eight weeks out. Literally, because courgette doesn't taste of anything. Literally, just takes on the flavour of whatever you put it in. So, as long as you can deal with the texture, then it's sweet. Obviously, it just gives it more volume, and then you can just, like, eat for longer. Like, I watch YouTube whilst I eat, so it's just nice to, like... I know, it's really strange. It's hard to explain, but it does kind of like trick the mind, make you think like you're eating more than you actually are. And that's what it's about, just like little tips and tricks. So I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to head into uni, because I've got some yeah, tutorials, which I probably told you earlier. And this is oh, macros. I probably would have already put them there, because there's no point putting them up just as I finish talking. Silly, silly boy. So the time is now. 20 past 2. I haven't eaten anything since the last clip that you saw a few seconds ago. Just been drinking water throughout the day. So before we have the meal, we obviously need to get into a vest because I'm going to be training in a vest. So we'll do that now. The vest of choice today, people, for today's session, we're doing chest, so obviously you got to wear some wavy stringer, is this one, yeah? So we'll just quickly whack this on. And there we have it. And I'll just whack you with a quick flex. Damn. Okay. So, for the first part of this pre-workout meal, because there's two parts to it, macros are going to go just there, and this is why I start push push out my bicep with my other like fist. Macros are going to go there, 
And basically what we've got is this little protein dessert, which you guys know how I make by now. One scoop of protein, 10 grams of peanut butter, and a little bit of water. Mix it all around so it becomes like a goo. Put it in the freezer for like two to three minutes, and you have that. We're gonna have six of these Be Good To Yourself rice cakes, and a whole packet of this reduced fat cheese. Boom, that's meal number, man, is that meal number two? That's meal number two, so we have the coffee. And this and this. Man, I know you guys have been missing out on the wobs a little bit, so here they are again. Wobs, 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 ready? Now, I know you guys are thinking, you're probably thinking, Dylan, you've barely had any, like, veg today or any micros or anything like that. Basically, everyone's different, and I don't like to eat a lot of veg and, like, really volume-dense foods before I train, so that's just me. I'm going to, like, eat the way that's going to mean I can train most optim optimally. So for you, if that's eating a shitload of vegetables before, then that's fine, but that ain't me. That's not me, and I'm gonna eat all the vegetables later, as you'll see later on. Mmm! Mmm! That's good, man. That's some good shit. Before I show you this next meal, there's a couple of things that I want to say. The first thing is that I follow an if it fits your macros approach. So this basically means that I can eat anything I want as long as it fits my daily macronutrients by the end of the day. I'm not too worried about meal timing or when I eat my food. I obviously try to eat carbs pre-workout like predominantly and most of my carbs like around my training because that's when I'm like most craving them. But if I really want to and like you'll see later, I will eat my carbs or some carbs in the evening before bed. And the reason being is that I genuinely believe that unless you're some like IFBB pro, the the most important thing when it comes to prep or dieting in general is that what you're doing is sustainable. So you'll be able to do it day after day, week after week, month after month. Because at the end of the day, a diet isn't just like a one day thing. You're not going to diet for one day. You need to be able to maintain it every single day. So you need to find what works for you, what you enjoy doing, and that's what you stick to. So this is how I like to eat. And I'm not saying that it's how you should eat, but it's just, do you know what I mean? It's just full day of eating. You guys is like, clicked on this because you wanted to see a six weeks out full day of eating. And this is it. I'm six weeks out from my first show. And I'm showing you a full day of eating. So, that being said, this is a new meal that I've recently added into my diet. Um, for weeks 8 to 6 weeks out, so the last 2 weeks, my carbs have actually been 30 grams lower than what they are now. But for this week, I've decided to add in this one meal, which has bumped my carbs up by 30 grams. As you'll see the macros for this meal here. And that is some fruit and fibre cereal with some milk. So, I'll just... There you go. See you later. Got my shaker, signed by Max Tuning. And I'm gonna have, this is my pre-workout. So I always have pre-workout, but I never track it. I don't track the calories, unless for some reason you have some pre-workout that has like 50 to maybe 100 calories. Then I'd probably track it. One level scoop. And we go into the shaker. Alrighty then. Man, that was such a sick session. I'm just gonna crouch down here so you guys can see me. Right, next kind of influx of calories, even though I don't track this because it's only like 11 calories, is this white monster. Oh my god, Dylan, you're having a white monster post-workout. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if people have this pre-workout normally. I find carbonated drinks don't sit that well recently as I've got like leaner in my stomach pre-workout, but I do like drinking them, so I drink them post-workout. And I'm so tolerant to caffeine that they don't really affect me. Right, so let's have some of that. Mm. Also, just thought it'd be relevant to state. Now, obviously, I'm on like 2,500 calories at the moment, uh, 250 grams of carbs. Now, recently, the last two weeks, my carbs have actually been at 220, and I decided to increase them by 30 grams this week, so at six to five weeks out, just because, basically, I just thought I was dropping weight a bit too quick, and I just wanted to use that extra influx of carbs pre-workout to help me in my sessions, have better sessions, maintain my weight throughout this week, maybe drop a little bit, and then next week, when I bring carbs back down again, my body should respond quite well to that. Um, and we'll just see how we get on. Okay, so here we have the next meal of the day. There's essentially three parts to this meal. As you can see, I've got lots of vegetables, tomatoes, cucumber. I'll overlay a clip so you guys can see specifically what I'm talking about here. Now, as I said earlier, I don't need to eat a lot of veg and stuff before I go and train, but I do like to eat a lot afterwards. So this is probably my biggest meal of the day in terms of volume, loads of vegetables in there. I'll put the macros up here so you guys can see exactly what's in there. 
And I do really enjoy this meal. I like it a lot. And in a weird way, it's like the only sufficient meal I have. Like I literally take in all my micronutrients in this one meal. or well, not all of them, but the majority of them in this one meal. Because the last meal of the day is just going to be oats and some jelly, which you guys will see in the next clip. Going to enjoy this meal. This is like lighter than light mayo. So it's literally like nothing. Got my chicken here. And it's good. It's good, 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 good. And the time is. The time is. Seven o'clock. Madness. And here we have it, people. The last meal of the day. It's half past nine. I'm going to probably go to bed within the next hour or so. So this is my last meal of the day macros I'll put over here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's just some more protein oats. This is with apple, and I'm not going to lie, I do eat a lot of oats, and I don't care, I'm not going to be afraid to admit that, because I like sweet stuff, and I like to have my oats in the morning and at night. Also, along with this meal, I have sugar-free jelly. Now look, I don't know if you guys can see how much this actually is, like this is my phone or whatever. This is quite a lot of jelly, yeah? And I'll put a picture on the screen of like what this looks like, packet form, and where you get it from. It's obviously Sainsbury's and Tesco. Now, this whole bowl, is only 60 something calories, 4 grams of carbs, and like 13 grams of protein, no fat. That's mad. Like, that's basically a protein shake, kinda. So, I'm gonna eat all of this. Obviously, you have to make this the night before because it's got like 24 hours to settle, or whatever. But, anyways, that's gonna conclude my full day of eating six weeks out from my first ever competition prep. Now, I think I might do another one of these four weeks out, potentially, and then three weeks out, and as we get into a peak week, etc. Now, I know this is a bit different to my other kind of videos, but obviously, I've still kept the wobs throughout, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And that's going to conclude it. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Smash that thumbs up button. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one for, well, it's going to be a more vlog style. So, as always, keep happy, stay positive, and enjoy life. Poison out of here. Poison, 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 poison.